Hi, we had a request for a book called Bingo a few weeks back, so we're going to try and honor that today. Bingo lives at the Hannibal Hamlin Family Circus. He's a very unusual dog. He likes to visit the clowns. That's just where he is now. Suddenly, he remembers that he has a job to do. He grabs a bucket, fills it with water, and brings it to the owners, Steve and Ginger. Whoops, the water spills. Look what you've done. You're hopeless, Steve yells. Poor Bingo. Just then, Lauren the Poodle walks by. Steve and Ginger notice she's limping. Lauren has stepped on a nail. She will never be well enough to go on with tonight's show. Why not use Bingo, suggests Ginger. Bingo, Steve asks in a puzzled voice. Then Steve realizes that Bingo is the only choice. It's showtime. Bingo walks onto the platform. He has to jump through a fiery hoop. But Bingo won't jump through it. He just sits and stares at it. Jump! Jump! yells Steve. But Bingo is afraid. He thinks back to when he was a puppy. Back then, he was living in a pet store with his mother. One day, there was a huge fire in the store. Little Bingo lost his mother. Steve is now furious with Bingo for ruining his act. He heads for Bingo, but Ginger stops him. Run, Bingo! Escape! Start a new life, Ginger pleads. Bingo sadly leaves the circus. He will miss his friends. After walking for a while, Bingo looks back at his old home. The tents are now tiny specks in the distance. Bingo decides to set up camp for the night. The next morning, he sees a boy lying in a stream. The boy is hurt. He's fallen off of his bicycle. He must ride with the internet grandpa. <laughs> it's Bingo to the rescue. Bingo pulls the boy out of the stream. Uh-oh, the boy isn't breathing. Bingo thinks quickly. He jumps onto the boy's chest, and the boy spits out all the water he swallowed. I'm Chucky, says the boy. You saved my life. You and I are going to be friends for life, right? Bingo barks. He's happy he made a new friend. There was a kid who had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh, Chucky sings. Chucky says he's starving. Bingo has an idea. He catches a trout from the stream. But Chucky isn't the only one who's hungry. A big black bear smells the fish. All of a sudden, the bear appears and lets out a huge growl. Arr! Bingo climbs up a tree. Chucky climbs up after him. Whew! That was close. Back at Chucky's house, his family is having dinner. More Chucky? I mean chicken, Chuck. I mean chicken, Chicky says Chucky's mother to his stepbrother, Chicky. I'm worried about Chucky, she says to Chucky's father. Chicky interrupts. He's probably just messing around in the woods. If we don't hear anything soon, I'll call the police, assures Chucky's dad. Chucky's parents are worried about him. His mother starts to call the police. Just then, she spots Chucky walking down the street. He and Bingo finally made it safely out of the woods. Since dogs are not welcome in Chucky's house, they walk in through the back door. Sneaky Bingo hides in the kitchen cupboard. The next morning, Chucky eats a big breakfast. Then he goes to get ready for school. When no one is looking, Bingo follows him upstairs. Bingo stays home while Chucky's mother drives him to school. Chucky tries to convince his mother to let him keep Bingo. You know, Mom, some people think animals are lucky. Forget it. No pets, she says. 
School is out, and Chucky rushes home to be with his pal Bingo. Bingo is happy to see Chucky. He barks and jumps and is ready to play. They spend the afternoon having lots of fun. They go to the arcade. They skateboard. Bingo even helps Chucky with his math homework. What a smart dog! <laughs> when Chucky gets back home, his family greets him at the door. They don't look too happy. Something got into my cold cream, says his mother. Something chewed up my citizenship award, said his brother. What are you saying, that I'm hiding a dog, says Chucky nervously. His parents just tell him to pack his bags. The whole family is moving to Wisconsin in the morning. His father is a football player, and he's been traded to another team. That night, while Chucky is sound asleep, Bingo sneaks out of Chucky's room. He wants to visit the dog that lives next door. In the morning, Chucky looks all over for Bingo. He can't find him anywhere. Bingo, he calls. There is no answer. Sad Chucky gets into the car with the rest of his family. As he looks out the window, tears roll down his face. As the car is driving down the street, Chucky suddenly spots Bingo. So do Chucky's parents. So there was a dog, says his mother. Bingo tries to catch up with the car, but he can't run fast enough. In a busy intersection, Bingo loses sight of the car. Then he gets excited. He picks up Chucky's scent. Bingo again runs after his new friend. After hours of walking in the hot sun, Bingo falls to the ground. He's awakened by a man who carries him into a truck and brings him to Duke's hot dog stand. Bingo is put into a crate with other dogs. Soon Bingo realizes that Duke is a nasty man who wants to hurt him and the other dogs. Bingo knows he has to escape. Bingo digs an escape tunnel in the ground. Bingo crawls out of the tunnel and frees himself. He then frees all the other dogs. Duke and his waitresses can't believe what is happening. They're frightened by the dogs. All the dogs leave the hot dog stand behind them and travel down the road to freedom. When they come to a highway, Bingo leaves the others. He gets a lump in his throat as he waves goodbye to them. Bingo continues his search for his best friend, Chucky. Tired and hungry, Bingo looks through a trash can for some food. Just then, he hears voices and sees two men. They take him into a trailer. Come on, we'll get you some chow, says the man named Lenny. Don't touch the cheese, says the other man, Eli. Inside the trailer, Bingo knows something fishy is going on. Eli and Lenny are criminals. They're holding a family of four captive. Bingo waits until Eli and Lenny are asleep. Then he sneaks out of the trailer to call for help. He dials 911, and the operator answers. Bingo barks. Woo! All I can hear is your dog, says the operator. But we've locked in your number and location. Bingo goes back to the trailer and unties the family. Just as Lenny and Eli awake, the police come to the trailer and arrest them. Bingo is a hero. The Thompson family is grateful to him for saving their lives. Cindy and Sandy Thompson each hug Bingo tight. They take him home to live with them. Back in a motel, Chucky sees a TV news story about Bingo's brave deed. He sends Bingo a letter to let the dog know where his family is. A man comes to the Thompson house and says that Bingo must go to court. Bingo tries to tell the people in the courtroom what happened the night he was in the trailer by barking to them. Bingo's barking confuses the judge. The judge sends him to jail. In his cell, Bingo uses his great digging skills and starts another escape tunnel. He has to find Chucky. A guard brings Bingo a letter that the Thompsons had dropped off. It's the letter from Chucky. Bingo is so happy. His cellmate reads him the letter. 
I want you to find me so as we can resume our happy life together. Pick up my trail, which I know you were following. Bingo's cellmate is about to read Chucky's address. Suddenly, the letter is yanked from his hand. It's Lenny and Eli. They are in jail, too. They won't give the letter back. Bingo's cellmate wants to protect him from Lenny and Eli. He tries to get the letter back. The letter rips. Later that night, Bingo's cellmate rolls out of bed and wakes Bingo. It's time, his cellmate says. They crawl through the escape tunnel and make it out of jail without getting caught. Bingo and his cellmate say goodbye to each other, and Bingo continues his search for Chucky. Bingo finally traces the letter back to the motel it was mailed from. He has traveled a great distance. At the motel, a woman named Bunny finds Bingo exhausted. He's been following Chucky's scent for so long that his nose is completely worn out. Bunny takes sick Bingo to the vet. Bingo needs an operation so that his nose will work again. He's overworked his own nose, says the vet. The operation goes well, and Bingo's nose works just as well as ever. But Bingo is sad. He thought he'd find Chucky at the motel. Bunny helps Bingo. She finds out Chucky's new address from a man working in the motel. She takes Bingo to the bus station and wishes him luck. The bus pulls into another station. It's Green Bay where Chucky now lives. Bingo finds Chucky's new street. He sees Chucky walking down the street. But wait, he's walking another dog. It's only a neighbor's dog, but Bingo doesn't know that. Bingo is heartbroken. He whimpers and sadly walks away. Bingo wanders into a garbage dump behind Vic's restaurant. He looks for scraps of food. Vic sees Bingo and gives him a job. Bingo is a great dishwasher. Meanwhile, Lenny and Eli have escaped from jail and are following Bingo. They hang posters all over Green Bay. The poster says there's a $500 reward for a lost dog, and they include a drawing of Bingo. Chucky sees one of the posters. That's Bingo! He races off on his bicycle to the address on the poster, but a man beats him to the address. The man works with Bingo at Vic's. He tells Lenny and Eli where Bingo can be found. They go off to get the dog, and Chucky follows him. Eli and Lenny get to Vic's, and just as they grab Bingo, Chucky rides his bicycle right into Lenny. Crash! Let go of my dog, Chucky demands. Run, Bingo, run! They grab Chucky instead and drive off with him. No one knows it, but Bingo is riding along on the top of the car. They stop the car at an old warehouse. The two men bring Chucky inside and hold him prisoner. They set up a bomb and hide it in a suitcase. Bingo watches the whole thing. He runs to Chucky's house for help. Chicky opens the door and sees Bingo with Chucky's hat in his mouth. But Chicky doesn't know that the hat belongs to his brother. He closes the door in Bingo's face. Then the telephone rings. Chucky's mother answers it. We've got your kid, says the voice on the other end. Someone's got Chucky, calls his mother. The dog may know where he is. Chicky follows Bingo to the warehouse, and his mother calls his father at the football game. Kidnappers have got Chucky. If we want to see him again, they want you to miss all your field goals, she tells Chucky's dad. Eli and Lenny want Chucky's father to lose the game for his team so they can win a lot of money. Chicky goes home to tell his mother where Chucky is. Bingo goes into the warehouse to try and help his friend. But Eli and Lenny catch him and tie him and Chucky up. They leave the warehouse. Chicky, his mother, and the sheriff go to the warehouse. Meanwhile, Bingo chews through the ropes. A fire starts in the warehouse. He tries to untie Chucky, but he can't. It's no use. Try to set off the fire alarm, cries Chucky. Bingo is brave. He leaps through the fire, over to the alarm, and sets it off. 
Chicky, his mother, and the sheriff get to the warehouse. So do the firefighters. The sheriff sees Lenny and Eli hiding in a car. They arrest them. The firefighters go into the warehouse to rescue Chucky. Bingo wants to help. He sees the suitcase with the bomb and carries it out of the warehouse. Just as he gets outside, the bomb accidentally goes off. Boom! The firefighters run out of the warehouse with Chucky. They see Bingo. He's been hurt. They bring the boy and the dog to the hospital. At the hospital, Chucky's family is gathered around his bed. Chucky's mom has called his dad at the game when Chucky was safe. His father was so happy that he kicked a field goal and won the game for his team. How is Bingo? asked Chucky. Chucky gets wheeled into Bingo's room to see for himself. There are so many people in the room. Everyone Bingo met in his travels is there. They all heard Bingo's story on the news and came to wish him well. Chucky pets Bingo. Bingo's eyes open wide. He barks. Bark! Chucky gives him a big hug. Bingo and Chucky are together forever at last. Well, I hope you liked that story. I love you guys. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now.